tell me why. Soon as bro go for the first chop, I knew he tripped out. I wasn't gonna make this video. But then I figured it'd be a good learning experience. So I have a primary barber that I always go to, right? He wasn't available, you know, on the day I needed him. And I just didn't feel like waiting. You know, at the wolfing or whatever. I just I just felt like getting my cut. So I just went to went to anybody, you know what I'm saying, set up an appointment with a random barber. So maybe that's on me for not being patient. That's first and foremost. And I'm replaying this in my head. I'm like, dog, like how did this go wrong, right? But now that I'm thinking about it, I realized it was on me. A lot of different things played up to, you know, why this why this happened. It started off now that I'm thinking about it. I was running late. So I was running late for the appointment. It was a new barber. So I was just like, I was kind of already out of whack. This is why like I'm very big on time management because it kind of throws everything off when you're running late, bro. You're just not really yourself. Running late, I get there, see the barber, boom. You know what I'm saying? He waiting for me, hop right in the chair. He's like, so what you want? This is where I messed up. Learning experience for y'all, right? So I always say document everything, take pictures, boom, boom, boom. When you go to the barber, you want to, especially a new barber, I don't know. Y'all might not have a primary barber like me. And if you don't, you want to have pictures to always show people, right? And I normally do that. That's why I said I was tripping, bro, because I was just throwing off. But I didn't show him a picture. But what you want to do is you want to show him a picture of how your waves look. when you The way you like it cut or the, the cut you got when your waves are just looking the best. I don't care how old the picture is. If this is how you like it, this is how you want it, that's the picture you show all the barbers that's going to cut your hair, bro. And you tell them how you want it. So that's number one. I didn't do that. I go, I want a number two. That's all I say. That's what that's what I normally always say, right? I'm like, I want a number two. Just to put this out there, I go to a His Hispanic barbershop. I go to a Hispanic barbershop where, like, the language barrier is kind of tough. So I was also telling myself, like, man, maybe he didn't understand me. Maybe I, you know, I'm making excuses for people because I'm a nice guy. I'm like, maybe I did something wrong. Tell me why. Soon as bro go for the first chop, the first, the first, I knew he tripped out. He went for the first chop. I saw a big, like a big chunk of my hair fall. I'm like, bro, too low. That's exactly what I did. I did too low. I'm like, let me see the guard. He showed me a number one guard, bro. He showed me a number one guard. I said, I said a number two. He tells me, and this is what normally happens. This is why I tell y'all. Y'all gotta stay strong. Y'all gotta stay stern with these barbers for about how you want your haircut. So then he tell me, a two not gonna take nothing off. I know that. I know that. I said I wanted a two though. So why, why are you going with a number one guard? At that point, he told me how I wanted my cut and he just did his own thing. So he did the number one and we had to rock with the one. He still used the number one guard because he felt like Two wasn't gonna take enough, enough off, and that's the struggle we have as waivers, especially when we go to new barbers, bro, and trying to explain to them how barbers, especially if they're not waiver related barbers, bro, like they just if they just barbers and they just cut hair, dog, like they don't really know what's up. They not they really not gonna know, and they're gonna do what happened to me, bro, and that's why I'm sharing this. The crazy part is after the cut. He kept saying sorry the whole time after the fact because, you know, I just let my energy show after that. Like, I'm just like, I don't really talk much. I don't really get crazy. I just let my energy show like, man, like, I ain't really feeling this. You know what I'm saying? Just just in my whole aura. He knew it. So the whole time, he kind of just like, sorry, sorry, sorry. You know what I'm saying? Saying sorry. I'm like, I ain't really tripping. At the end of the day, I, ain't, I wasn't tripping, tripping. I'm like, it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. So I'm getting up, right? I'm going. I pay him. Boom, boom, boom. Back. And then I go, I'm going to get my coat. Like, I'm putting my coat on. You know what I'm saying? Got my coat. Put my coat on. Boom, boom, boom. Right? You feel me? He gonna come up to me. Right? And I'm like this. I'm literally like this. Like, I ain't even turned back to him because I still wanted him to feel my energy that I really wasn't rocking with him. You feel me? Like, he gonna go, hey, I need five more dollars. Right? Just like that. I'm like, five more dollars? And he's like, oh, prices went up. I need five more dollars. I was like, I'm not giving you five, bro. I was like, I don't even like my haircut. 
don't even like my haircut, bro. Like, I don't like it. Like, you cut me too low. Like, what am I giving you $5 for? On the site, it still say it was X amount of dollars, right? So, you coming to me and saying, sorry, they didn't, y'all didn't update the prices, but the prices went up, and you need an extra $5 from me. When you took matters into your own hands to give me the cut you decided for me, no, I'm not giving you $5. So I was just like, bro, I'm not giving you 5 and I left it at that. Like, And I'm not that type of person to where I'm going to give somebody a hard time. You feel what I'm saying as far as like just being ignorant, like not, you know what I'm saying? If it was a miscommunication to where bro was like, oh, I thought you said this or I thought you meant this. And then you was like, I gave you the extra five. I'm cool. Like, I'm cool like that. I really don't be tripping. So I gave you the extra five. But it was the fact that you heard what I said. There was no miscommunication. You just decided what was best for me, bro. Absolutely not. You not getting five, bro. You gotta be very detail oriented and have those pitches. You know what I'm saying? Let them know. You want to keep it, you know what I'm saying, nice and full. You know what I mean? No, you don't want to see, you don't want it light. You want it dark at the top. You know what I'm saying? Let me go ahead and show y'all the cut and show y'all how it came out. And I know what y'all are thinking. Oh, the cut looks nice. It's a nice cut. It's a nice cut. Right? But I'm not saying the cut was bad. This is a fire cut, yo. This is a fire cut. This is my left side. If you always talking about, I don't be showing my left side, bro. This is a fire cut. But it's just too low, bro. Like, it's just too low. And I've cut this low before. And you can see in old videos, I have my hair at this length. So I don't, like, I don't have a problem with cutting this low. But where I was at with my waves... Where I had them at, like I had them perfectly like where I wanted them and I just wanted to keep working on them in that state. So I re so with this cut, I just lost that. You know what I mean? You can see, I ain't even really lose waves. You see all my waves. I just lost some definition. The good thing is because I do put in my brush work. It doesn't really matter how low I cut. And that's what I be trying to tell y'all. When you do what you got to do, bro. And you brush at what would it like? Not a lot of people, I always say this, not a lot of people could cut this low and still dip like this. You see the waves, even in the back. Fire cut, bro. It's a fire cut. It's just too low for me, bro. Good thing about when you cut low, if you don't know, it's the perfect time. Going your connections, any forks that you're having trouble breaking, they are a little bit more easy or manageable to break because, you know what I'm saying, your head's not. It's not a, you don't just you don't have a lot of hair in your head, so you can smooth it out and you know break them forks easy as you know your hair starts to grow back then. If you don't know what you should be doing after you get a fresh cut, check out this video right here, and I'm gonna see y'all in that one.